Hey guys, welcome back to Tales from Two Trails. Today we're starting the video off a little bit differently because I haven't been well and I don't quite want to sit in front of the camera yet. <laughs> so we're just gonna start playing the game and then hopefully I will feel better when I tell you what books I'm thinking about reading for the game, etc. But we're gonna go from here to start with. Start slow, start slow. So last month ended really badly for me. I ended up all the way up here and you guys ended up all the way down here. You did move on to the red path, but that doesn't really mean anything, to be honest, right now. But you missed out on hitting this square, which sends you all the way right back up on here. So I think you're pretty safe at this point, and you're very close to the end, if I move, move this up so you can see. The end is only here, <laughs> um, or here. So you're really close, and you can't really be sent back up, I don't think. I suppose you could go here, cross the bridge, and then go up here, and then go up here. So you could still you could still move back, but it's unlikely at this point. I, on the other hand, have a lot of work to do. <laughs> uh, but you know, that's the game. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, so I'm going to go through each prompt, and I'm going to work out how far I can move and how far you guys can move. Okay, so the first prompt that we got last month was read a book that matches the season. So because it's March, I guess you could kind of drag in winter still, because it's still kind of winter at the start of March, and then going into spring for the end of March. So anything like that kind of really counts. And my plan was to read The Secret Garden. I am so close to the end of The Secret Garden. However, I have not finished it in time for the game. The game ending was the 25th of March, and I set that up for myself as well this month. So I'm not going to count that and I have to take a step backwards. <laughs> Good start for me. For you guys though, those of you who read a book that matches the season, Amy from Amy's Bookish Life read The Secret Garden on 81st Street by Ivy Noel Weir. Ames the Reader read Wish Tree by Catherine Applegate, which I think Amy kind of classed as a seasonal read because it was read for middle grade March. A middle grade March is a spring readathon, so I let that go. I thought that was quite a nice little twist on the prompt. Amanda read Pigeon English by Stephen Kelman. Jessica read Lud in the Mist by Hope Merely Merely's. Danny from Somber Honey Books read Hell Followed With Us by Andrew Joseph White. Dee read Plain Bad Heroines by Emily M. Danforth. Marlene read Camp Zero by Michelle Ming Sterling. Amanda from Amanda Plays Sims read Genesis Begins Again by Alicia D. Williams. Natalie from Nat Cat's Book Bookish Cafe read King of the Immortal Tithe by Ben Alderson. Louisa read Springs Arcana by Lilith St. Crow. Whitney from Tiberus Den read The Ten Thousand Doors of January by Alex E. Harrow. And Michelle read The Beautiful Ones by Sylvia Marino Garcia. So yeah, you guys absolutely smashed it. More than five of you read for that prompt, and so you get a step forward. Okay, the next prompt we got was to read a book you've already started. That was my goal for the year. Um, just books that I put on my old TBRs that I really needed to get to. Uh, but I also said that you could use it as a goal for your own. You could just make up your own goal and use that, um, as long as you kind of stick to it throughout the game as that prompt. The prompt, the square is the little bookmark square. Um, for read a book you've already started. Anyway, I failed this one too. <laughs> it sounds like such an easy goal to fulfill, it really does, but I, I failed it. I can't, yeah, I failed it. I'm not gonna go into it any more than that. Didn't do it. I apologise. <laughs> I can only apologise to myself, really, though. Okay, for you guys, though, Amy from A Star Reads read Rich People Problems by Kevin Kwan. Ashley from Ashley's Media Addiction read The Final Gambit by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. And that was for Ashley's own goal to complete more series. Amanda from Amanda Plays Sims read A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. Ames the Reader read Amari and The Great Game by B.B. Alston. And Amy's goal was to read more from her shelves. Amanda read The Magicians of Caprona by Diane Wynne-Jones. Jessica read Cleety by Mariana Zapata. And Jessica's goal was to read books purchased before 2023. Dee read Havenfall by Sarah Holland. Michelle from Reading on My Breaks read Sin by Elena M. Rees. June read 
Caliban's War by James S. A. Corey, Crystalline Red Hex by Jenny Fagan, and that was for the goal uh, 23 books in 2023. Louisa Red Raven's Strike by Patricia Briggs. Louisa has a goal to catch up with authors to read with the aim of reading all of their published works, which is good actually. I have a few authors that I want to do that with. <laughs> but Shana Shishi has this goal to read a book and then watch a few adaptations of that book, which I really like this goal as well. Um, and so they decided to read Little Women by Louisa, a uh, Louisa May Alcott. And finally, we've got Michelle who read Pride and Premeditation by Tirza Price. So yeah, you guys again smashed it. I mean, I'm never going to beat you guys. Problem number three was to reread an old favourite. And for me, I had to go back to a video that I made and read one of the books from there. And I ended up reading The Restaurant at the End of the Universe by Douglas Adams. And yeah, so I take a step forward. I did it. Woohoo! Okay, for you guys, we've got Amy from Amy's Bookish Life who read Love That Dog by Sharon Creech. Ames the Reader read Written in the Stars by Alexandria Belfleur. Amanda read James and the Giant Peach by Roald Dahl. Jessica read Radiance by Grace Draven. Amanda Play Sims read Finding Home by Amelia Finn. June read Shane by Jack Schaefer. Crystalline read Bridge of Birds by Barry uh, Hugart. Natalie from Natcat's Bookish Cafe read The Hanged Man by K.D. Edwards. Louisa read Ink and Bone by Rachel Kane. Whitney from Tibera's Den read, I don't know how to pronounce this, I should have looked this up, Chesapeake Blue, Chesapeake Blue, by Nora Roberts. And Michelle read The Mystery at Lilac Inn by Carolyn Keane. So again, another step forward for you guys. Prompt number four was to read another person's favourite book. And for this, I was originally going to read Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier and I have been reading Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier however I have not finished it in time so I twisted this one and I ended up picking Frostheart book number three Rise of the World Eater and my argument for that is that it's Gavin Heatherton's favourite series one of his favourite series and I picked up this series because of Gavin's recommendation as one of his favourite series so I'm using that I don't know Gavin personally but I'm taking the recommendation <laughs> anyway. So yeah, I needed to move forward guys. I needed to move forward. So I'm taking a step. There we go. So for you guys, for somebody else's favorite book, Amy from Amy's Bookish Life read Jefferson's Sons by Kimberly Brubaker Bradley. Ashley from Ashley's Media Addiction read I Heart London by Lindsay Kelk. Ames the Reader read Mad Honey by Jodie Piccolo and Jennifer Finlay Boulan. Jessica read Rise of the World Eater by Jamie Littler. Like me, I'm very excited about that. I like it when I end up reading the books at the same time as somebody else. Uh, yeah, so Jessica, I'd love to know your thoughts on that one. Danny from Somber Honey Books read One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston because that was her best friend's favourite. Dee read The Atlas Six by Olivier Blake. Michelle from Reading on My Breaks read Rock Chick Renegade by Kristen Ashley. Louisa read Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. Whitney from Tibera's Den got a recommendation of her first sister and read What Lies in the Woods by Kate Alice Marshall. And finally, Michelle read Five Days Left by Julie Lawson Timmer. And so, another step forward. Well done, guys. <gasps> if you get the next two prompts, then you're going down the waterfall. Can you see this? If you go down here, then you're going round the waterfall. And then you're so close to the end. Not happy about that. Problem number five was to read a book that had 200 and something pages and for that I actually used a book that I finished just at the start of March but that's in the rules that's fine <laughs> and I'm using Ima Imajo by Octavia E. Butler for that and that also wrapped up a series really good series I'll talk about that soon when I finally do wrap ups on this channel I'm beginning to feel better so hopefully I could start filming some videos soon <laughs> so yeah I could take a step forward woohoo um okay so for you guys Amy from Amy's Bookish Life read The Many Mysteries of the Finkel Family by Sarah Capit. Amy from A Star Reads read I Married a Merman by Regine Abel. Jessica read Transcendent Kingdom by Yar Gassi. Danny from Somber Honey Books read The Icebound Land by John Flanagan. Dee read Hydra by Matt Weselowski. 
Michelle from Reading on My Breaks read Deep Work by Cal Newport. Amanda Play Sims read Agatha of Little Neon by Claire Luchette. Crystalline read Crocodile on the Sandbank by Elizabeth Peters. Louisa read Of Triton by Anne Banks. Whitney from Tipperous Den read Lessons from Lucy by Dave Berry. Leanna read Sea of Tranquility by Emily St. John Mandel. And Michelle read Leave Me Breathless by Kate J. Lake. And so yeah, that is another step forward. The final prompt that we got last month was to read the first book in a series. And I read The Bone Season for the Bookstar read-alongs and I read it in time. So I get a step forward. And that means that our first prompt this month is another goal number two, whatever you chose for goal number two, or for me and everybody else who wants to use this prompt, it's to read a book you have already started. So this bodes well for me because now there's even more on the list that I did not complete. <laughs> and so for you guys, let's just move me out of shot. We don't care about my piece anymore. It's too far up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you guys for read of the first book in a series, we had Amy from Amy's Book is Life, who read Dial A for Aunties by Jesse Q. Sutano. Ames the Reader read Miss Twix School of Music Craft uh, by Jessica Kairi. Amanda read Mouse One, A Survivor's Tale, My Father Bleeds History by Art Spiegelman. Jessica read The Sunbearer Trials by Aidan Thomas. Danny from Sombre Honey Books read Cinder by Marissa Meyer. D read The Raffin the Dawn by Rene Adie. June read Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. Crystalline read Spy Times Family Volume 1 by Tetsuya Endo. Louisa read Reawakened by Colleen Hauk. Whitney from Tibera's Den read Sea Swept by Nora Roberts. And four of you guys also read The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. And that was Amy from A Star Reads, Michelle from Reading on My Breaks, Amanda from Amanda Plays Sims, and Natalie from Natcat's Bookish Cafe. And I, I assume everybody was joining in with Bookstar read-alongs, which is great. <laughs> and that is everything. So you guys get a step forward and you fall down the waterfall <laughs> onto this prompt. And so our very first prompt is to read a book featuring water. Okay, so time to do the rolls. Um, let's start with me all the way back up here. Essentially, I really want a number one so that I can go down here to free choice and then I'll be on the green trail and at least part way down the board, which would be nice. So yeah, let's see what happens. <laughs> let's go for roll number one for prompt number three. Four. Okay. So one, two, three, four. This is YouTube. So this prompt is essentially just scrolling through your YouTube feed until you come across a video that's either a TBR video, haul video or wrap up video, something like that, a vlog even, something where specific books are the focus of that video. And as soon as you find a book that is easily available to you or that you already own, have on your TBR, have on your radar, then you just essentially just read that book. <laughs> so yeah, kind of like Instagram feed prompt or a Goodreads feed prompt, but just using YouTube. Okay, so going to your prompt, you have to go around this lake and so you can go either clockwise or anti-clockwise, it doesn't matter. But this is like the good lake, this is the nice lake and this is the terrible lake. So we're going around a good lake, so all the prompts will be nice, which is really great <laughs> for us, for everybody. So yeah, we'll just have to see what happens. Obviously you guys can't choose which prompt or which way around the lake we go, so I'm going to have to choose for you. But I'll try to be nice about it. I have to be nice because it's a nice lake. Okay, so let's go for roll number two for prompt number four. Three. Okay, so we have one, two, three. This prompt is to read a book by a favourite author. Or one, two, three. This is to read a book that you love. So this is like reread a favourite again, I think. So I'm going to go to read a favourite author because we had reread a favourite last month. So reread a favourite author. And now we have to carry on going this way around the lake. I can't go back the other way now. We have to go anti-clockwise. Okay, so all the way back here for me, for my next roll. So let's do roll number three for prompt number five. And that's one, because of course it is. So, okay, this is a genre pick. So I'm going to do a genre spinner wheel in a sec, and that genre is going to be the genre we all have to read 
Um, we all have to do the same genre pick, whatever comes up, just so it's fair across the board. I will do the screenshot in a sec and I will put it up on the screen and let you know what it is. All the way back down to you guys and let's get the final prompt. This is roll number four for prompt number six. Five. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This is a mood read. It's a little happy face and it's like, read whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Well, as long as you're in the mood for it. You have to be in the mood for it. <laughs> okay, so that's it guys. I don't know if I'm going to be doing a little clip or not. So if not, I'll just finish with, I'm all the way up here, classic. You know, I am moving slowly. I've gone around a couple of turns. <laughs> I'm up here, it's tragic as usual. And you guys are down here by the lake and you can come out and carry on moving down the green path. And obviously, it could either be a really quick finish for you guys next month. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. <sighs> if you read all six prompts, then you'll end up on free choice. And the only way to go back on and around is if you end up on this square and go back up here, which could happen, but it's obviously very unlikely. So it's very likely that you're going to win next month. Highly, highly likely. I mean, look, my guy's sleeping on the job. He's fallen down. He's not even interested in taking the walk or the hike down the mountain. Do you know what I mean? Like, slacker. So yeah, next month will be a giveaway if you guys win. So I'll start thinking about how I'm definitely going to do that. And we'll see what happens. Good luck this month with your reads. I'm really sorry, but I'm not going to give my TBR in this video. I'm going to record my TBR for April this week and then put it up separately just because it's already the 3rd of April. I'm running out of time and I know you guys would like to see what the prompts are. So I'm just gonna do that and I am definitely feeling better now. So this week I can hopefully get that done and put it up soon so you can see what my TBR is for April. I'm also doing Aurelium as well and I'm really excited about that. I started my first book today and I'm already loving it. So yeah, happy to share that as well. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry this is a bit different, but needs must sometimes. <laughs> You've just gotta do what you can do. And yeah, I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you to everyone who joined in with the game in March. Um, I do love going through and seeing what everybody's read. And as usual, everybody's details will be down in the description for you to go and check out if you notice somebody who has a similar reading taste to you or you haven't heard of a booktuber before and you wanna go and check them out. Everybody's links to their YouTube channels or Instagram pages, anything that I know about like that will be down in the description. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.